Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pearl Bee Planet. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to make these DIY Rainbow Swirl Jello cookies. I really love how they look and how adorable they are. They are so fun to make, bake, and eat. You will be needing one and one half cups of softened unsalted butter, which is three sticks, one cup sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, three and one fourth cups of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda, one fourth teaspoon of cream of tartar, four packages of jello, and you can use different colors, and you will be needing two tablespoons of the powder each. And this is optional, but food coloring if you want your colors more vibrant. First, you're gonna preheat your oven to 350. Go ahead and get out your mixer, your three sticks of softened butter, your one cup sugar, and the spatula. Go ahead and put your butter and sugar in the bowl. Now turn on your mixer and go ahead and put it, if it's on a scale of one to 10, go to put it on a two or a three, so not so fast, but fast enough that will get everything churning. Every so often, it's gonna clump up into the mixer, so you're gonna take your spatula and put everything down again and and you want to do this a couple of times because it's going to take a couple of minutes for everything to get moving and correct. About halfway through, add your one teaspoon of vanilla extract and your one egg. Next, we're going to get out a large bowl and your three and one fourth cups of flour, your one fourth teaspoon of cream of tartar, your one half teaspoon of baking soda, and your one teaspoon of baking powder. Also, you're going to use a whisk to mix this. Go ahead and put all those four dry ingredients in the bowl. Now using your whisk, you're gonna carefully mix everything together. Now it is time to combine both ingredients, so go ahead and get out your wet ingredients and your dry ingredients. So now, portionally, so about one scoop at a time, go ahead and put your dry ingredients into the wet mixture, and you have to be careful, make sure you don't do it too fast because you don't want everything to spill out, which happened to me. So while you're doing this, go ahead and put your spatula and make sure the mixture is even without, so it's one even mixture with no flour or stuff by the sides. Once you have finished combining everything, you're going to take your bowl out and divide those into four sections. Now we're gonna get out our jellos and your tablespoon measure. This procedure is the same with every single one of your jellos, so I'm just gonna show you with one. Get out your powder and pour two tablespoons into the measure. Now we're gonna be kneading the dough and the powder inside each other so they can be a basically red dye with no powder showing. And this is something of how it should look when it's finished. Once you have finished making all the four different doughs, if you want more of a vibrant color, go ahead and put food coloring and first grab a fork and mash it in there and then you can use your hands to create this more vibrant look. The last part of this project is to get the doughs into about one inch balls and I'm just grabbed a piece of it and rolled it in my hands and if it was too much I took some out of it if it was not enough I would just put more into it and I'm gonna do six of those singular color balls for each of the four jellos so I basically made six of each of them and now I have a little bit of each color left so this is when I can swirl in design to make more colorful and tie-dye and rainbow swirl designs now with a cup for a bowl, you're going to go ahead and smash them down so they're about one and a half centimeters in height so they'll fry much, much better. And these cookies are ready. Go ahead and put your cookies in the oven and set the timer for 10 minutes. But this totally depends on your oven, so make sure you watch it all the time. Now with your extra dough, this is the time to create swirl cookies. So you're going to grab a couple different colors and swirl them together to make one cookie, just like you did with the regular ones. And look how cute these swirly things are. So I pulled them out and they became a lot bigger than I expected. They kind of look like squares. So once you're finished with that, you want to make sure that you poke it. And it's okay if it's still a little moist because it will flatten out and dry once you let it cool for about five minutes. And these are how my swirl cookies turned out. Thanks everyone so much for watching how to make these DIY rainbow swirl cookies. I absolutely love them. I hope you guys try these at home. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for new food DIYs the fourth Friday of every month. Thanks everyone so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone. Mwah.